Welcome back my friends for another fun reloading video. Today we're going to be reloading some 38 special with a cast Lee 358158 round flat. We're going to be using Hodgden Trail Boss and Eunice Genix small pistol primers. The brass we're using is all mixed head stamps and has all been fired a totally different random number of times. And here's a quick look at our projectile. These were sent in by fellow reloader Chuck. These have been powder coated and I just sized them to 358. We're using probably one of the most unique powders out there. This is Hodgson Trail Boss. It comes in a nice little donut shape and it's a very interesting powder. If you've never used it, you should totally look into it. And then our primers here, the Eunice Genix Small Pistol Primer from Bosnia. Today we're shooting 50 rounds, so we're going to go ahead and get these loaded up into the press. Here's our Dylan 550C. We've got our powder hopper filled up with our trail boss. We have our primers loaded into our priming tube. Up top we have our lead die set. Stage 1, we're going to size and deprime, and then on the downstroke we add in the new primer. Stage two is where we expand our case and then add our powder. Stage three is where we seat our bullet. And then finally stage four, we add our crimp. And here's our dummy round seated right at the top of that crimping groove. And we have a nice generous crimp as well. I'm uncertain of the overall length, but it fits in my guns and it plunks just fine. Here we're on the Hodgden Reloading Data Center website. You can see a 158 grain cast lead semi-wad cutter, which is pretty damn close to what we're using today, with Trail Boss. Anywhere between 2.7 and 4.2 grains will get the job done. And we have our powder measure dialed in to give us just at 4 grains of Trail Boss. Actually it's 4.03 grains, but it's close enough and well under our maximum charge. Well, there we've got our first round loaded up. Here's a few of our rounds. They are just beautiful and we are ready to crank them out. We're just on our last few bullets here. Everything is running smooth. And that should be our last primer, I believe. We'll see. Didn't have anything come up. Sometimes they get caught here, so I like to check that, but I think we're nice and clear. Here's our very last projectile. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's our last round. Perfectly seated and crimped right at the top of that groove. And that was the short version of how we took this piece of brass, we added these primers, we threw this powder into it, and then we put the bullet on top, and now we have this perfectly configured round ready for the range. I'd like to say thanks to you guys for coming and spending your time with me. If you enjoy this sort of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And be sure to stay tuned for the range report where we're going to be testing these on steel and on paper. Um, see what kind of group we can get. So thanks again, folks. We will see you in the next video. Have a good one.